and that is absolutely beautiful out there. I'm already seeing some trout jumping around out there. You got a few osprey diving down and plucking them out of the water. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some trout fishing out here today. I've been trying to uh, basically power fish this lake. Uh, by the time these trout fishing videos get out on YouTube, uh, basically this lake is gonna be open to the public. The campgrounds are gonna be open. Uh, we got Memorial Weekend coming up. So things are gonna get really crazy, really fast out here. So I've been sneaking out here in the week leading up to uh, this place opening. And as you can see, we've basically got the lake to ourselves. but these fish have been stocked pretty heavy for the spring, uh, early springtime. But then we've also got a lot of holdover fish that have just been out here getting big over the winter time, haven't had much pressure from uh, anglers. And so I've got my kayak, we're gonna go grab the kayak, drive over to the other side of the lake and uh, see if we can't find a few more fish before this place turns into a zoo. Yeah, that's beautiful. I think what's gonna be my my main squeeze today is we've got my Okuma Guide Select Pro. It is the uh, eight foot trout rod, ultra light. And we've got that tactical green Okuma uh, reel on there. So I'm hoping that uh, obviously we could do some, some trolling, but what I would really like to do is just try and come across some fish and then start swapping out through some different spinners and some different hardware. Uh, in these last videos, I was using these uh, Panther Martins, these number six, and that was pretty much all I used while I was out. So today, I would actually really like to uh, swap it up and see what we can't get some fish on. So I'm going to paddle over to this little spot over here, which has uh, been pretty good to me lately. So hopefully it continues to produce. All right. Let's do that. This thing needs a little more weight to it. Oh, oh. There's a good one. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That is a nice fish. Just chill. Oh man. That is a beauty. Check that one out. Awesome. That stringer. All right, well, you're going on this one. All right. First fish of the day. So, that right there was the Lure Jensen Super Duper Magnum Cast, quarter ounce. Throw that one more time and we'll put a, uh, a different one on. You know what? Let's stand up. Oh, oh God. There's a bite. Let's let it drop. And reel. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, no, it's still on. <laughs> oh, right. Let's get back over here. You guys can actually see what I got going on here. 
Why you guys are just so, so wily. All right. Oh my gosh. That is another beauty. Well, we were going to let you go, but it looks like that's taken some, uh, yeah, that's too bad. All right, well, that one got it in the gills, so we're going to have to keep this guy. Yeah, I got you a buddy. Want some company down there? Bite me. Bite me. All right. Well, two cast, two fish with the old lure Jensen. So let's, uh, let's put something else on there. Oh, what are we doing? You unscrew it here? No. Alright. Oh, I think that bird dove and missed back there behind us. Oh my god. Alright. So I've just got a, a little snap swivel on there so I can swap out really quick. So I think next one up. You know what? Let's go with the good old fashioned cast master. Red, red and gold cast master. All right. And, man, this thing. It's the one thing I dislike about these ultralight rods. They're so flimsy up top that just the slightest bounce of your rod. Oh, and it really just starts wrapping up on here. All right, we've drifted quite a ways, so I'm gonna turn around real quick. All right, well, I was hoping five fish, five different lures, but let's see. All right, we're in it. We're gonna do it this way. Maybe this time you guys can actually see me stand and cast and catch a fish. That's the one thing I dis oh I dislike about cast masters. You really can't feel uh, any resistance on them. There we go. Tightens up just a little bit. All right, let's sit back down. <laughs> Using this uh, ultralight rod has been a lot of fun. Oh, come here, Nat. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be another good one. Pretty good one. Let's not reel in the swivel. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't need you getting that thing caught up in my net, dude. Looks like it already is. There is another guy. You know what? Since I'm holding you by the gills, we're gonna put you on the stringer too. Alright. That was the cast master. Let's take that off.
cast master is going to go now now we're going to go with this little thomas it's a quarter ounce biting fish it's got that funny funny shape to it it gives it a really really nice action in the water oh, i was like what is going on you know what let's see if we can just chuck that guy out there not gonna be able to see the catch but i think i need to move back up though uh-oh the osprey are on the move if uh any of you have watched my last couple of videos out here doing this uh trout fishing it has been just totally off the hook but one of those days i actually had an osprey come in uh try and steal the what well, it actually stole the fish right off of my line and flew away with it if you guys haven't seen that video you got to check it out it was pretty crazy and then uh, probably about 15 minutes later i had got my fish chilling off to my left here and an osprey came out of the trees and grabbed onto the fish and tried to uh, swim off with it that looks really good in the water if you can see that Basically, it just looks like a minnow. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of sprinkles here. A little faster. What are we going to use next? I've got that crocodile thing. Rooster tail. I was already using the Panther Martins in those last two videos, so I'm not going to use the Panther Martin today. We know those things work. probably about far enough let's do another stand-up cast that's kind of fun I like being able to stand up in this thing Oh, oh, I say we got to get it. Oh, I could see the fish that was following it. All right, well, there was a cast with no fish. Let's try that again. I think I was going too fast with that. Let it sink a bit more. All right. Oh. That's a dinky fish. We're gonna let this guy go. Oh, look at you, little lake surfer. Yep, that is your typical stalker size. <laughs> Got that right in the bottom, though. No, 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 no. There you go. Get out of here. little jumpers out there oh there we go oh it came off there we go there's another one. Oh, that feels like a good one keep going on yeah that's a good fish that's gonna be a good fish come on baby Yeah? Oh yeah, you're a good fish. You're a good fish. Ooh! Almost got out of the net. Oh man, all right. I'm gonna keep this guy too. Oh, almost. Kind of stuck in the net. Three times I've re-pierced your lip, dude. Sorry. 
guess I gotta use my pliers. There we go. Another beauty. My goodness. Let's find an open. There we go. This one. out of the net oh get off of there you know what yeah let's keep, let's keep we'll just do that all right pulling off the old thomas so that thing feels feels like it's kind of like the uh, cast master you can't really feel a whole lot of resistance you don't even really know if it's working or not all right lastly maybe depending on the size of the fish we get here This here is the Lure Jensen Crocodile. Just a little spoon. Let's give that a shot. I think we need to move back down. Oh, of course you're all wrapped up. We got jumping fish or birds? Oh my goodness, would you get on there? We gotta make our way back up now. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Alright, going back up. How do you look in the water? I'd say that one really looks as cool. Uh, we'll see. See how it performs. Not how cool I think it looks. <laughs> Oh man, I'm trying to decide if I want to stand up or not. I'm pretty sure on that camera all you can see is from like crotch down. <laughs> and then if I'm sitting, then you can't see out of this one. And if I'm casting behind the camera, it seems kind of silly to uh, not stand up. So I think this is about where we were. Well, I'll tell you what that casts really nice really far How you doing? <laughs> Not too bad. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. Let's just throw right there. Oh, we're waiting. I wasn't sure if I was going to get one. We got this weird, crazy drift going on right now with this breeze. Dude, what is with? These all got to be like holdover, holdover trout. Oh, in the net. Is that fish number five? Say the hook is still in there, dude. Oh man, there is fish number five. That is insane. All right, can you stay in the boat for a minute?
Oh man. Well, just like that, you guys, there is our limit of some monster fish. So, let's head back over yonder. Yet another exciting and productive day out here on the lake. I don't even think it's noon yet, but uh, I think that's about all the fishing I'm going to do up here before this madness uh, starts this weekend. So as always, I appreciate you guys joining the adventure with me today. Uh, until next time, best of luck to you, and I hope to see you out on the water. <laughs> oh, man, it's hot. Oh.